What's going on, KOR fans? Chris Vaglia alongside with Maddie Dack, goalkeeper of the women's soccer team, here in her most comfortable setting as we have a socially distant interview here at Bodner Field. Maddie, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Go ahead and talk a little bit about, in this first part, a little bit about yourself and what drew to Cal State Maritime. All right. Well, I'm Maddie. I'm a mechanical engineering major, a uh, sophomore here at Cal Maritime. And I play soccer, obviously, and I have loved it so far. This is the best school, in my opinion. And I've just had the most fun sports wise, academic wise, like meeting people. It's just, it's been an overall great experience. Now, talk a little bit about your August Cadet of the Month here. Uh, Tell shucks, us a little Chris. bit about what that means to you and, and how, <laughs> how you exactly got that. Well, I believe um, I was here all of a week as a brand new uh, RHO, which is a residence hall officer. And so I've been here since I was here early for phase three, finishing up last year's classes. Then I was here for another week doing Zoom RHO training for about a week. And then I was here for another week doing uh, orientation week for the freshmen. And it was kind of weird because it's half virtual, half in person, but just taking them around campus, showing them how formation works, where classes are. Uh, we even got to do a ship send off where we all jumped off the ship at the end of the week. And from what I heard from other peers, I apparently stood out as a leader, I guess. <laughs> I was just having fun with everybody, but people said I did a, a well job just kind of leading people around and I just took that as a, the highest compliment found out in the middle of my machine shop class and I was just, I was on a high man I thought <laughs> I, was, I didn't even know we had to death them <laughs> now you're also a part of the CalPAC student athlete council with your teammate uh, on the women's soccer team Emily Silva uh, tell us a little bit about that I and mean, also why student athletes should join it so Student Athlete Council is not super well known here on Cal Maritime's campus, but we're growing significantly, or at least I feel like we're about to. Um, we're trying to get more involved in the triad, which is the core housing and as well as uh, student services, like student body. So Student Athlete Council is basically a council of certain reps for each team, a female and a male from each uh, team we have on campus, and we kind of meet together at least once a month we talk about any issues that might be going on, if you're missing gear, if your dining hall is closing before you get out of practice. We, it's basically a communication between students, athletes, and the school, just to make sure that everyone's not missing out on anything, they're getting the help they need, because being a student athlete at this school could be definitely challenging, I know firsthand. <laughs> now, you got your first year out of the way here uh, at the collegiate level playing soccer. Uh, what were some of your takeaways? What was the biggest adjustment? Coming from high school to college. Coming from high school to college, just a crazy transition. For one, the academics are so different, in my opinion. And the sports were just amazing for me. Like, it was, as a brand new program, it was a lot of work in the defensive half, to say the least. And as a goalkeeper, I was just always getting ready. I could never be fit enough for this season. <laughs> I tried my best, but I was always, I always needed to catch up. And it was just a great experience. I learned so much, like, getting my like reactions skyrocketed number saves skyrocketed so it's just been a crazy experience uh, I got to travel see family while playing soccer they got to see me play uh, I have a host family from the cadet community connection program and they got to come see at least half of my games here at Bodner Field which was an amazing experience just to kind of connect with them and to have like somewhat of a family feel while I'm playing here since my family can't be here and just overall just I like the Cal Maritime experience has just been amazing for me Obviously a sophomore this year. What has been the most rewarding part of being a keel hauler so far? That's a tough question. I mean, having the small classes and the hands-on experience, like just being able to do stuff on the, the TSUB that we have, it's been, the hands-on has just been insane. Being able to do stuff hands-on and like the people here is probably the, the best part of Cal Maritime, I'd say. There's not a teacher that doesn't know my name, and there's not a student that I can't reach out to in at least every class to, like, help me out or, like, get some advice or anything like that. So it's just been such a great community. One more question before you go. Uh, do you have a, a player or a team, anything that kind of inspires you to keep you pushing uh, as a goalkeeper? Uh, Honestly, that'd probably be the, the infamous Hope Solo. I mean, she's no longer playing, but she put the most grit into the sport that you can put in man even when people might not have been a fan she she came out and she performs every single game that i've seen her play like i just remember wanting to be able to have that kind of reach that reaction that even if you're not well liked or even if you are super liked like she does the job and she does it well she's a good leader in my opinion 
Well, Maddie, that's all here today for you. Uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, in your most comfortable setting as goalkeeper, if you guys caught that. Keelhauer fans, Maddie, thank you again. Thank you so and much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Awesome.